What's up guys, it's Faded, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all doing awesome as always, and today we're going to talk more about the upcoming Modern Warfare 3, more specifically a feature which will definitely hurt the enjoyment of the game when it comes out. But I just want to show you guys this real quick, look at these metrics, the fact that all of this is a net gain month over month absolutely blows my mind. All I do is sit in front of a microphone and talk about what I'm passionate about, uh, which is first person shooters, motorsport, all that kind of stuff, and you guys absolutely eat it up and you show me a ton of support on all the videos, and I love you guys to death, honestly probably the best fan base on youtube and i think you see that with a lot of the smaller creators they have a nice tight-knit community that all appreciates each other so thank you guys i didn't think i would get far on youtube and seeing all this is absolutely elating so we're going to talk today about engagement optimized matchmaking so you guys all know skill-based matchmaking everyone complains about it so why wouldn't you know and those complaints are valid because it's not that the algorithm helps the bad players that's what it should do it's that it punishes the good players and it's said that engagement optimized Optimized matchmaking works hand in hand with SBMM, which has a bit to do with why Call of Duty feels so stale and repetitive now. And this kind of matchmaking, which is actually patented by Activision, it prioritizes player retention and purchase of bundles through the in-game shop. So there's no official explanation of how engagement optimized matchmaking works, as most info on it is merely theoretical and based on player experience. But it's generally accepted that the algorithm has a cycle to it, which repeats and resets periodically. So say you wake up in the morning, you start your first match of the day, and you go well over positive, a very simple match. Um, and that win was given to you in part by this algorithm to entice you to keep playing the game. Then, in your very next match, you're put against the reincarnation of Formal back in his Infinite Warfare season, which, by the way, 1.44 KD at champs and winning the ring is nuts, but that's besides the point. So after you're done getting steamrolled by Boy Wonder, you're pretty demoralized and exhausted. Then the very next game, that's ex it's exactly like the first one you played. And then the cycle repeats itself. So you guys see what's going on here? The system learns from your playing habits, and it feeds you easier lobbies when it thinks you're going to close the game and move on to something else. There's also another theory, which has been partially proven by a photo of a patent that Activision had applied for, uh, which is that SBMM also extends to players who purchase in-game content, as they'll be paired with better players as a subtle reward for buying items and reinforcing incentive to continue doing so. So people who play with a base skin and no camo, they just bought the game and they play it, they don't buy anything from the store, they would be paired against someone running a bundle skin and a weapon blueprint, so that way that player is enticed to buy a bundle from the store. Hell, Modern Warfare 2 is even programmed so that the store is prioritized over the rest of the game. If you ever wonder why it takes so many button presses to actually start a match, that's because the game is deliberately designed to funnel you into the store to buy something. The message of the day, 99 times out of 100, is always advertising some sort of bundle, blueprint, or collab event. So, with all this said, if you're still not convinced that this system actually exists in-game and is fully functional, once this video ends, go and open up Modern Warfare 2 and start a match. Take note of your scoreline, and then compare it to the very next game, and tell me that engagement-optimized matchmaking and skill-based matchmaking don't work hand-in-hand -hand to manipulate the multiplayer experience. I'm cautiously optimistic about the next game, but since this system will carry over to the next game, I'd like this video to serve as a crash course on what this algorithm is. That way you guys can prepare yourselves for its inevitable inclusion in Modern Warfare 3 come November. So anyways guys, if you enjoyed and you learned something, do me a favor, hit like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and share the video with a friend because all the support helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you all in whatever video I upload next. Take care.